Nebula. A nebula is an enormous cloud of dust and gas occupying the space between stars and acting as a nursery for new stars. The roots of the word come from the Latin term of the same name, which means mist, vapor, fog, smoke, and exhalation. Nebulae are mostly composed of dust, basic elements such as hydrogen, and other ionized gases. They either form through clouds of cold interstellar gas and dust, or through the aftermath of a supernova. For example, in the Carina Nebula, hot, young stars erode and sculpt the clouds into this fantasy landscape by sending out thick stellar winds and scorching ultraviolet radiation. The low-density regions of the nebula are shredded, while the denser parts resist erosion and remain as thick pillars. In the dark, cold interiors of these columns, new stars continue to form. In the process of star formation, a disk around the protostar slowly accretes onto the star's surface. Part of the material is ejected along jets perpendicular to the accretion disk. The jets have speeds up to several hundreds of miles per second. As these jets plow into the surrounding nebula, they create small glowing patches of nebulosity called Herbig Haro objects. As with most things in the heavens, many people can claim the title of the discoverer of nebulae. The first mention of it may have been in 964 AD by Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi, who wrote about the Andromeda galaxy, noticing a small cloud. Early Arabic and Chinese astronomers also noticed the creation of the Crab Nebula as a result of a supernova in 1054. It wasn't until the 17th century and advances in optics that nebulae became more observed. In 1610, Nicolas Claude Fabry de Pierce discovered the Orion Nebula, which then was observed in 1618 by Johann Baptist Syssat. The first detailed observations, though, waited for famous scientist Christian Humes in 1659. Incidentally, that very same year, Hunes had published his standard formula for centripetal force. About 50 years later, Edmund Haley wrote about six different nebulae. He was an accomplished scientist who served as the second astronomer royal in Britain, and eventually had Haley's comet named after him. But famous names flocked to nebulae over the years as well. Edwin Hubble helped categorize nebulae based on the spectra of light that they produce, also discovering that nearly all nebulae are associated with the stars and are illuminated by starlight. Some nebulae are bright enough to be seen by the naked eye. The Orion Nebula is one of these, located between the stars that compose Orion's sword in the constellation of the same name. Many others are visible through telescopes, depending on how many stars are around them to illuminate the dust clouds that form the nebulae. However, it's often hard to differentiate between star clusters, galaxies, and nebulae due to their similar makeup. Be sure to subscribe for more Space Rewind, and tell us in the comments what you would like to see next in an upcoming video.